Two kids shot by another outside of a D.C. charter school today. Police with a 15-year-old suspect in custody. The two victims are recovering in the hospital. Fox 5's David Kaplan staying ahead of this one for us tonight. He's live in Northeast with more on that. David? Jim and Marina, this happened outside the Idea Charter School behind me at about 10 o'clock this morning. That's on the corner of 45th and Lee Northeast. Family members tell us that their students went on a lockdown immediately after the shooting outside. I got a talk, chance to talk to one of those family members who says she was scared when she heard about the shooting and hates that students might have to be scared while they're inside. It startled me, it scared me to death when I heard Idea Academy School. And I grabbed my heart like that. I thought, oh Lord, about the safety, I think it sucks. These kids can't even go to school in peace. Chief Robert Conti said one kid was not allowed into the school because he wasn't following the dress code. The school offered him the proper outfit, but he declined and left. Two other kids showed up and then didn't want to go through a magnetometer. At some point shortly after that, one of the kids who refused the magnetometer shot the other two outside the school. Conti commending the security guard at the school. Take a listen. I am very thankful that the security officer on the inside of the school uh, was about their business. Uh, they made sure that no further injury or harm came to other students who were safely inside of the school. Uh, the individuals who were attempting to get in school were coming after school hours, so they essentially were, would have been truant. Uh, but uh, this is what we see happen when young people are in possession of firearms. As for the why of all this, Conti said preliminarily there appears to have been some dispute outside of school that eventually made its way to the building today that eventually escalated into the shooting, Marina. And David, there's been a lot of discussion in recent time about having police officers inside of schools due to school violence. Did this school have a school resource officer? Not a full-time one, and that was something that Conti sort of expressed frustration about. Currently, there are 60 MPD officers in schools, some roving between multiple schools right now. However, there is a city council plan to reduce that number by 20 every year until there are zero, is what the plan calls for right now. In 2025, Conti believing that these officers in schools are good for things like conflict resolution. He thinks that would have helped today. And Back certainly to a contentious issue across school districts right here in our region. David, thank you.